بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم So this is example number one for growth at different rate Let us see this one Equity shares of a company are currently selling at the price of equal to how much? 134 each It is currently paying a dividend of equal to 3.5 Current dividend Or means for example the dividend which we receive now or initial dividend right It means it is D naught It is equal to what D naught Company paying a current dividend of equal to 3.5. The dividend is expected to grow at 15% for the next 6 year and at 8% thereafter. Calculate the cost of equity shares, right? First of all, you have to see the elements. What are the elements? These are the elements. Number one, you have to find out number one, you have to find out D naught. D. D or D naught. See, as in as in the example, it is given. The it is currently paying a dividend. Current dividend means D naught. If it pay, for example, the if it is expected to pay this dividend, if they say, for example, expected to pay this dividend, it means that is D one. But in this case, they said it is currently paying this one. If currently paying this one, so it means this is D naught, right? So D naught is equal to equal to how much? D naught is equal to. Uh, 3.5 okay 3.5 that one point that we have second thing p naught also we have current market price see equity shares or the companies are currently saying at this much p naught is equal to 134 that is also there for us what else is governed so we have 2g right g1 g1 is equal to equal to 15 percentage and of course, this is from, from year 1 up to year 6, right? That is there. And of course, we have G2 as well. G2 is equal to 8% and that is from year 7 onward, right? It is like this. What else is given in the question? Nothing else are given in the question. So here, we have D0, we have P0, of course, G1 and so on. Rest of the thing we have to find out. How to find out? Uh, which item to be find out? For this purpose, you have to apply the formula or see the formula which items are needed. Let me copy the formula here. This was the formula, right? See? Here it is D1. We don't have D1. We have to find out D1. We have to find out D2 and so on. We have to find out up to D6 as well as up to D7. So we have to find out all this one. Why this is so? Because it is mentioned the dividend is expected to grow at 15% for the next 6 year and also at 8% thereafter, right? So we have to find out for year 6 as well as for the year 7. How to find out? We have to apply this uh, previous formula. What was the formula? The formula was like this. D1 is equal to D0 into 1 plus what? 1 plus G, right? So from this formula, we can find out D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, and so on. And then you can apply in the formula in order to get the value of K, E, right? So if this is so, now let us apply it. How to apply? So come down. D1 is equal to D0. D0 is equal to how much? 3.5, right? 3.5 into from year 1 up to year 6, we have to apply this G1 percentage. How many percentage? 15 percentage. So 1 plus 15 percentage. 15 percentage is 0 0.1, right? So 1 plus 0 0.1, you get 1, 1.1. 1, 1.15, 1. 1. right? So if you multiply this two, you get a value which is equal to. Okay? It doesn't give a value. So you do like this. 3.5 into... 1.15 from where i got 1.5 from the formula itself 1 plus g g 0 0.0 0 0.15 0 0.15 plus 1 you get 1.15 right if it is equal you get some value right now find the d2 in the same way d2 is equal to this value again right this value it means d1 D1 multiply to value of G, right? Value of this part of the formula. This part of the formula. Again, 1.15, right? Press the equal sign. 
that you press the equal sign, you get some value. Then at the same way, you have to find that D3 as well. D3 is equal to, D3 is equal to D2, multiply the value of D2, multiply to 1 pi, 1 pi, 1 pi, right? Press the equal sign, you get it. Then find out D4. D4 is equal to D3, D3 into 1 pi 1 5. Press the equal sign, you get some value. Then find out D5. In order to find out D5, I get D4. Right? D4 multiplied to 1 pi 1 5. Press the equal sign, you get some value. Then find out D6. D6. Then multiply to 1 pi 1 5. Press the equal sign to get the value. After D6, for D7, you have to apply another rate. And that rate is equal to how many percentage? 8 percentage. So you have to mention D7. D7 is equal to D6. Okay. But the application rate is different, right? What is the application rate? The application, okay. The application rate is, in this case, it is multiplied to, and instead of 15, in the formula, we put 0 0.08. If you multiply to this one, you get 1.08. Why? Because it is 8 percentage. Now, press the equal sign, you got something, right? So now, these are the value of all D. You can apply in the formula. But first of all, let me change the formula itself. So, okay. Uh, okay, I have changed the formula. Now, you have to apply the formula in this way. Uh, P0 is equal to this one. D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, and D7 divided by this one as well, right? So here, there is no option uh, unless you assume a rate. For example, you assume which rate to be applied. So here, we need to put a value or put a rate in this one itself as a K in order to equalize both sides. Why? Because the value of this side, the value of this side, it means the value of this side. Is equal to how much? 134. So you need to put any value in this one if you divide all dividends and so on. Finally, finally, the value of this side should be equal to the value of this side. You need to apply different rate. It is there is no formula, there is no specification, right? And also there is no shortcut. You have to apply any rate. I am going to apply 12 percentage in order to find out this one, right? Already I have applied different rate. But finally, I have applied 12 percentage. 12 percentage is the answer. I know it, but but I'm just teaching you for teaching for you guys that how to apply different rate. Suppose we can say apply 10 percentage, as I said before. If you apply 10 percentage, for example, if the value is more, right, then you have to increase it. If the value is less, then you have to decrease the rate. So it depends on you, right? So for me, let us apply 10 percentage in the 12 percentage in the formula, right? So I am assuming, I am assuming Ke is equal to 10, 10 percentage, percentage, and of course that's a question mark, 12 percentage, let's say, 12 percentage, how many percentage, 12, I assume that it is equal to 10 percentage, but it may not be correct, right, so in order to test it, so you have to apply it to see whether it is correct or not, right. So this side is equal to 134. 134 equal to now apply the value of this side is equal to value of this side. How to find out this one? Do it like this. D1, how much is D1? D1, take D1 from here. D1. Okay. D1 divided by. I assume the value of equity as 12 percentage. 12 percentage means 0 0.01, right? Or uh, we can say it is equal to 0 0.12, 0 0.12. So instead of this one, you can apply that one. How you can apply? You can apply, or if you apply it, you mention 0 0.12. But of course, in the power of, in the power of one, plus, plus apply the next one itself. D2. How much is D2? Apply the D2, or take the value of D2 from here itself, right? Apply D2. D2 divided by 1.12, but of course this is in the power of 2, right? Plus, 
do for the next year as well d3 how much is d3 this is the value of d3 right value of d3 divided by 1.1512 in the power of 3 right and plus do it for the year 4 year 5 and so on until to the last right then do for this one as well then copy paste it here okay six point this is divided by 1.12 that is of course in the power of in the power of previous one the power of three now it is in the power of four plus do it for the next year five as well year five please take a copy copy this one should be divided by how much should be divided by 1.15 of course in the power of five and do it for year six as well year six copy this one paste it here should be divided by 1.12 but of course this time in the power of power of six and plus last year is a little bit different why because in the denominator we have two items if you have two items then how can you divide it please take care of the spine as well how much is d7 so please do calculate it d7 mention the value it should be divided by divided by what should be divided by okay one value is 1.12 in the power of six right and also it should be divided by this one as well so for that purpose so you have to take a bracket here one bracket and of course take another bracket as well right another bracket how to find out this one i assume ke as 12 percentage it means 0 0.12 so 0 0.12 minus how much is g so as g comes under 7 so 7g should be applied here right so 7g is equal to how many percentage 8 percentage so for that one 0 0.08 right no 0 0.08 so this rate should be applied right so now you have to find out the value for all of this so you have to apply and find out the value right so how to do it let me copy paste all of them and i need to divide it into two parts otherwise you cannot find out the value right so i'm going to divide it into two parts how we can divide into two parts so up to d6 should be in one part after that it should be in the up to d6 it is here itself right so let me proceed over here so up to d6 if you press you get the value how much is up to d6 up to d6 you get a value of 23 points something like that now find out the value of this part itself right so take a copy of this one once again oh i'm doing this part so now so calculate here eight points something like that keep it just there first of all you have to uh, you have to summarize this part 0 0.112 minus 0 0.08 if you do this one you get 0 0.04 you get how much 0 0.04 right that is it now if you multiply you get some value right press the equal sign it still there's nothing so do one thing this value these two values should be multiplied to each other 0 0.1 point 1 1.12 in the power of 6 multiply to this one how to do it let me do it here itself 1.12 into power of 6 is equal to how much whatever is the amount so this amount whatever is the amount it should be multiplied to 4 percentage or multiplied to 0 0.04 press the equal sign you get some value this is the value it means this is the value of denominators this is the value of which part this is the value of this part. so put this value in the formula itself right so now Calm down, mention the value here. How much is the value? This is the amount. Copy. This one should be divided by how much? This one should be divided by this one. Why? Because I summarized the denominators and this is the value of denominator. Press the equal sign, you get some value. Value is equal to how much? This one. 
Now sum up these two parts. Which parts? Sum up this one plus plus this one, right? And of course, it should be equal to P naught. Now mention the value of P naught. P naught was equal to how much? 134, right? 134 is equal to this value. This value is equal to how much? 3 point this one. This value plus plus this one. How much is this one? 110, right? So press this one, then equal. Whatever is the amount, that is it, right? I'll leave 134 in order to be able to find the sum of this one. The sum of this two become 133.7, something like that, which is very close to 134. If it is very close to 134, it means the rate of 12 percentage that we have applied is basically the cost of capital. Any rate which equalizes these two sides, it means that is the cost of capital. Although it is not equal, the rate might be, for example, less than 12 percentage, right? It might be, for example, hello 1.999, something like that. But we assume it is 12 percentage. So this was regarding trial and error method. If cost of capital, if growth of rate is different, so you have to go for trial and error method. You have to apply different rate. I knew that it is 12 percentage, I have applied 12, but otherwise, if you guys apply, just assume any rate. If it is more, then reduce it. If it is less, then you have to increase it, right? Any rate which equalizes these two sides, see, it is 133 points, something, 33.7, which is close to 134, and this side is 134, right? So, there is no much difference, so let us assume that the 12 percentage was the cost of capital.